calling Honest Tea. Hi, Stefan. Um, I'm calling about what's going on with the, the genetic labeling, modification, that whole that whole thing. And then I'm seeing that Honest Tea is somehow connected to supporting um, not having labeling for genetically modified foods, and that kind of confused me. How so? So what would the difference be for honest tea if it was done state state by state as opposed to federally? Like either labeling or not labeling. But wouldn't the labels, the only difference be between, say, California and Idaho? The only difference, it seems, would be either you label or you don't label. Right? But that's... Oh, because Coca-Cola is a really big company. And they have stuff all over the place, then they'd have to make two different labels. Right, but it would just be like either you put if there's genetically modified stuff printed on the label or you don't. So it wouldn't be like 50 labels, there'd only be like two different possibilities. Right? Okay. Now with with that, I I think one of the problems that I'm seeing for federal regulation is I did some research and our FDA, the, the Food and Drug Administration on the federal level, has a bunch of people from Monsanto in it, like Michael Taylor. Well, I mean, I'm letting you know so that when people call, you do have this information. I researched it and Michael Taylor is the XVP of, uh, an, uh, he, was, he was a vice president in Monsanto, who are the people who have created genetically modified foods and who are profiting from them. He is, uh, he's a deputy in a leader, like he's a very high-ranking official in the FDA appointed by, by Obama now. So for us to get labeling on the federal level seems like it's not going to be something that's really feasible, given Monsanto does not want labeling, and they they are they own the FDA. They are the FDA now. So if it's possible, I think that's great. But given we haven't had it yet federally, it should have been. It's been implemented everywhere else in the world. 
in the civilized world. And it, they did it the other way. I think one of the problems that we have, which, which for honesty is a real big problem, is the way that they're trying to implement labeling is it seems like they're trying to do it like organic certification. I'm not sure if this is right. But where organic certification makes it so that you have to show that you don't have genetically modified ingredients. It places the burden on the organic companies, the ones who just have natural foods and natural ingredients, which seems very unfair, where you have the new technology is the one that should be labeled. So like anybody putting the new genetically modified stuff that everybody's concerned about, they should have the burden of labeling, not Honest Tea, who isn't using it, especially if it costs money to say, hey, I'm not using genetically modified ingredients. Someone should, doesn't, shouldn't be going to your company and saying, okay, we're going to check you out. They need to go check out the people who are using the genetically modified ingredients and making sure that they are labeling this new technology that could cause sterility you know, <laughs> stuff like that <laughs> over over time, which is shown to do in rats and things, you know. But um, it's good to hear, at least I, I, I've, now i got a better idea of this, the stance of Coca-Cola on this. And, um, you know, I'm sure you're getting a lot of feedback about this whole thing at this point. It's just been all over the Internet. And uh, I'd hate to see a good company go down because their parent company is trying to, you know, kind of throw you under the bus. That's what it seems like. Yeah, um, I'm 87501. Right on. Thank you very much for hearing me out and, and giving me give me some feedback, you know. You too. Bye bye. Okay. So they said that um you know they're concerned their parent company is concerned, um, Coca Cola, about labeling in a lot of different states and um that that would place a burden on them, which is ironic because Coca-Cola uses all kinds of genetically modified crap. <laughs> but um, I think he made a, one good point, which was this: the burden is on proof of innocence. That's not the way we work in America. That you have to prove that you're innocent. Innocent until proven guilty. The people who are using the new technology need to label that they're putting that new technology that could be dangerous, that hasn't been tested, into our foods. The organic manufacturers who aren't using it, what kind of sense does it make to put the, the financial burden on them when they're already usually the small companies who aren't cutting corners? That's bullshit. We need, to, we need to stop this right now and make it very clear that what we want is labeling, the burden of the labeling and the cost of labeling on the people who are putting genetically modified food, like ingredients in our foods. That's what I want. I don't give a, I don't care about trying to regulate people who are growing food in their garden kind of idiocy is that? Coca-Cola has $50 million to spend putting millions of dollars into trying to not pass this. Put that money into labeling and just tell us when you're adding high fructose corn syrup that's genetically modified. Fructose, which is genetically modified. You know? All these different corn starch, genetically modified corn. Soy protein isolate, genetically modified soy. 
it's in so many of their products they bought entire companies so that they could put up a front to make it look like they give a crap about our health profit man boardrooms and profit bottom line and we all know this but now you know let's cut through the crap we want labeling we want labeling now we're done playing this, this handsy pansy game the FDA has got you know all these people from Monsanto in it federal isn't gonna pass these labeling laws unless they get huge amounts of pressure well here's where we start putting on the pressure and if California labels then the other con the other other states will also feel it'll set a precedent and then the other states will begin to label and it will be much less of a drama I don't know anybody who doesn't want to know when someone sticks a new ingredient in their food especially one that's been manufactured and modified from its natural state <laughs> who doesn't want to know who we've been going at this backwards people you know they've they've led us to the pasture and they've they frame things so that it seems like this is unreasonable to ask for and it's not time for us to get it get down the brass tacks and start getting our government in line making sure they represent us our needs our health and what's in our best interest instead of what's in the best interest of you know the boardroom and stock options of like a small handful of people who don't even eat the stuff in the first place because they can afford to take a jet to France and buy whatever they want over there where they check whether or not it's genetically modified and they reject it in Europe and pretty much everywhere else why not here because we'll be we are being used as test subjects because there's a lot of profit to be made and not by us but by some people and we're not going to let them get away with this are we? no I'm interested to hear any responses anybody has to, to my rant if there's something I don't know about you know you got a question please post it up I'm ready to rumble man this is this is we're done we need we need to get this done so anybody who disagrees with me throw down give me your opinion I'm happy to hear it and none of that you know BS you're stupid dumb dumb kind of stuff be intelligent I'm deleting your your comment you know and I almost never delete comments I'll give you a chance but anybody coming here with just demeaning insults you know go somewhere else you know around here we want to be thoughtful we want to have change happen that benefits us as Americans you know and if you're just here to cast aspersions I'm gonna assume that you're being paid by coca-cola 